It's interesting when one talks of history because I think history is a fiction. If we remember Napoleon, we remember the Napoleon we meet in War and Peace, we remember the Napoleon we meet uh, in, in all sorts of you know, literary forms so that history to me is just an excuse. I don't say this glibly because there are horrible historical events like the Holocaust and I'm not trying to say that 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 is invented, that these are terrible, terrible things. But still, uh, history moves into a kind of mythology and fiction, and it's at that point that one can use the history uh, as a kind of romance, as terrible as the history might be. I was looking for the larger truth, the larger truth of the revolution. I was looking for the romance, for the excitement, for the sexuality, I mean, for all the craziness that war suggests. I mean, when, every, every time we see a film or, or, uh, or, or we read a novel, I mean, war scenes are, are, are so ordered. I mean, it's chaos. Everything is chaotic. I mean, it's crazy. It's madness. I mean, there are no enemies. They're just strivers, you know, and this is what I wanted to, I wanted to bring out the sound and the fury of those particular years. I wanted to reinvent the revolution and I, I felt that when um, the American readers really didn't understand this, I don't think they, they were prepared for such a diabolical twist to their own history, but uh, it seems to me that it was necessary for me to write it this way. So one of the, one of the s discoveries I made uh, in researching the book is that blacks were completely invisible during uh, the, the Revolutionary War. They didn't really exist. Uh, if people talked about them taking part in the war, they talked about blacks being in the British Army, mostly as cooks or, or uh, you know people who, you know, uh, stevedores, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But then, as I read into the revolution, I discovered that by the end of the war, one quarter of all of Washington's troops were black, and this was known at the time. And it's one of the the sense of amnesia that America has. A new country couldn't afford to have disenfranchised blacks who not only couldn't vote but were pieces of property. America couldn't afford to see them as taking such an important part in the revolution. We could not have won the war without these black soldiers. There were moments during the revolution when Washington's army was just a myth. He had no one there. You see, so one has to reinterpret uh, the history of a country where that has already been mythologized and the myth is very incorrect, it seems to me.